So some of you may have noticed that there's a clump of people that tend to stick together. They look a little bit different from the majority of the other folks here in that they are super confused, have confused sort of glossy exp expressions on your face. We're just gonna talk to you a little bit about what's our experience with starting to learn to code and uh, to develop. And we're gonna start off with Orion talking about why we began this journey in the first place. Yeah, so I went to school for a humanities field, basically. I was studying linguistics. Um, but when I got out of that, I realized there's not much application. Um, you can basically get into academia or become, you know, work in an office job or something. So one day when I was working at my job at T-Mobile, I uh, talked to one of my customers and he was talking about his job working in programming. And I talked to him about it and I realized that it's actually much more accessible than it seems. Um, and I think there's a perception on the outside, in the outside world that um, it's something you can only do if you've always been really amazing at math and science. But um, it's very accessible and there's so many applications that if you're a creative person or whatever, whatever you're interested in, you're gonna be able to find something that you can do with it. Um, on top of that, I also think it's amazing because the future is just going to be more and more about computer science. So if you get into it now, you're doing yourself a really good service for the future. So I think that's why we're all pretty excited about it. And I want to talk to you a little bit about how, why I chose a boot camp, which reflects some other people. Um, as you may know, there is no one path to learn. There is no one language to learn. There is no, no one way to learn. And if you are thinking about learning to become a developer, it's very difficult to know where even to begin. And um, some of us struggled online alone for a while. We ended up um, choosing to uh, apply to Academy Pittsburgh, which is brand new. We're in the second session. It is run by John Lang and uh, Josh Lucas. It is free. Uh, we are learning so much. We learned C Sharp and Ruby and testing and databases. And so far, it's going really well. We're located in the Allentown neighborhood of Pitts Pittsburgh, and we are the second session. There are 17 of us so far, and we're really enjoying it. Hi, my name is Sanjeev. Uh, everybody calls me Jeev. And um, so I came from like a um, more of a business analyst, so like testing and analysis background. Uh, but I've always ha had my eye towards um, more of a hands-on development uh, type of feature or career. So when I heard about Academy Pittsburgh, um, I jumped on the chance. And um, I think though, as we all face different challenges, some of the biggest, one of the biggest challenges is sort of problem solving, get you, getting your head around the problem. And um, at least for us, we are getting so many different languages and technologies thrown at us. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out what pieces fit where in the puzzle. And, you know, maybe what's right to use for one situation, what's right to use for another. And, but as we get more complex and work on more things, that kind of, hopefully that'll start to make sense. But right now we're just, we're just kind of trying to see where, where things go and uh, hopefully be able to put, out, put that all together, so. Um. And lastly, we wanted to talk about our, some of our favorite things so far in, that we've uh, experienced. And for me, it would definitely be the community. Um, there's been so many people that we've talked to, whether online or in person, via Academy or wherever, uh, that are extremely helpful. And uh, even if our experience level is very low, um, they're willing to guide us through things because everybody in this field is really excited about this field. So they want other people to understand. Um, and also, it's great to see other people's thought processes and um, how they think about things because it helps you to uncover new problems and new solutions to what you're doing. One thing I really like about it and what I have heard from most people, I love to learn. And this is a great environment for people who love to learn. And I know everybody here loves to learn because you are working on Rust, which is a brand new language, which you probably would not have to do. So um, for a lot of us who love to learn, we love to think, and this is a great chance for us to get into a career where we know we're going to be learning for the rest of our lives. Oh, <laughs> and I just wanted to add that one of the things I love about this course is um, or just in general is um, learning how different people um, 
come at a problem from different directions because it really helps you open your mind and maybe figure out, you know, understand something better when you hear other people, their approach to it. We, we need to take one more second. Oh. <laughs> Be before we get kicked off stage, we just wanted to thank um, Jake and Carol for inviting us here and also John Lang, Josh Lucas, and everyone else who's been involved with Academy Pittsburgh. If you could give them a big round of applause. That would be great.